Hello people of the Tinterwebs, it's me, Antronus Prime, back here with another response video. Um, this one's point focused towards Lee, who is Damn the Hussies. Um, a very good question as well, he got asked by an anonymous source. Um, what is your pitch on the new Transformers series cartoon that will sort of follow up with the 30th anniversary of Transformers? And I really like I, I like these questions and it's very rare that I'll do I do responses but I feel I should. Um What would what my pitch be? Let's say I'm a big guy, I'm a big fan of the mythos. I I you know I'll read everything to do or most what I can absorb in about the the mythos and build my own ideas, my own collective ideas of information and put them on a a single straight line and um, what would I like to see I would like to see stuff that has been mentioned over time through since the early days the 80s cartoon UK US comics and highlighted sort of through all the re the, the reboots and even previously in the Transformers Prime series um, what I would like to see within sort of as a new series is to for to have a series that would highlight the original thirteen Transformers, the first creations of Primus himself. Um, now this is the, we've we've only really we only know snippets of certain individuals, um, little bits of storyline, and I think this would be a really good sort of like kind of story arc that would cross certain continuities or if not every continuity because it sort of melds back if you if you research into certain. Um, continuity you'll find that they all sort of focus at one sort of point in time and I think the series would be good to sort of give Primus a voice Unicron a voice sort of the the, the, the things of the, that created what we see in modern Transformers sort of civilizations um, and how they may have got to that certain point in time um, the 13 yeah it's you know We've got 13 individuals, we've got 13 actors as a collective, as part of Primus himself, because Primus will create, you know, some 13 to protect him, to maintain him, um, why he formed into his planet, his planet shape, and that would be a really good sort of start and sort of um, point of explaining Unicron, where did he come from, or legacy of the of Unicron and Primus, and you know the the many battles before he settled on sort of a planetary sort of form and stuff like that, and it's been highlighted through the comics as well, but give it a visual aesthetic and appearance, something that a lot of people would tend to react to rather than read in the comic, and sort of the, and and again. The, the the first creation how 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 go into his into Primus's mind what 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 is he experienced through his travels of crossing dimensions and the supernatural powers that he has as a god this sort of god uh, being and there's the, the same influences as Unicron even though he's the the, the chaos bringer what influences as, as Primus had uh, you know what what has it been saturated through the many millennia and billions of years of and fight with Unicron to eventually see him, him create this 13, this tribe. And we get a group already of naive, um, simple functioning bots that basically do Primus as well, you know, look after me, maintain my, my inner functions and stuff like that. And to see the exp to, to, to see the 13 develop, um, you know, as basically children little children and how they develop it as individuals and um how Primus commands them about and this again hits on sort of a free will and predetermined sort of civilization and quite a a, a total uh, Baxter would said a uh, a quite a total 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 totalitarian if I say that word right if I say it wrong I'm sorry um sort of rule and to sort of have you know the, the the journey of Primus and Unicron meeting again has always been, you know, you've got this Unicron 
shifting through different dimensions to find his nemesis, which is Primus. And Primus himself has to shut down this way. He creates the 13 to try and hide his energy signatures. But but it's not about... It would also be about Primus, Unicron, and the 13. And seeing how early civilizations and it's not it wouldn't just be focused over like a couple of years because when we talk transformers we're talking you know centuries thousands of years no millions of years um, and see them develop early civilizations um how they will be influenced by the, the you know would they follow an individuality of a pacific 13 member would they would they go off then into to cybertron and let's see cybertron let's let's see this metallic eden of cybertron because we've never really explored it all we've we've seen snippets photos you know games um bits of cybertron never really explained we've been we've been given um cities names but let's see what they were like before modern cybertronian society and how you know city states developed how they developed as a people where they you know a, a primer people where they a vector prime people that they learn art of vector prime of shifting through space and time um, and to see the influence eventually how unicron is you know shows his power he can you know astro sort of on a mental dimension influencing these people and see the battles of you know between unicron and primus and how he would then cast them out into sort of like the void of of, of space time and lose them again but then leaving some kind of mark on primus that would influence his children you know eventually this you know uh megatron megatronus and uh, the lees maximo um, to eventually tint and, and become an evil and how they would influence the factions and you know the adventures that they would undertake and this could be very a, a personal sort of series where it does follow these 13 you know solace and make it one thing i have about transformers is early there was no gender there is no this is a completely gender genderless race it is there's no female there's no gender it solves it works a lot of problems and it also lets them develop you know even though we'll give them a male aesthetic there is no gender it, you could explain that within a, a really diverse way um and see the relics of you know that was mentioned in the Transformers Prime series of Solus Prime. She was the blacksmith. She's mentioned she, but I like the term. There's there's no gender until later on when there's influence of other races, um, and Jaraxxus who gives it a gender that alters the CNA. But that aside, to see where they get to as a point in time and the influences from early age and span it. It doesn't span it across millions of years. You know, jump forward. To this, you see Cybertron spires and stuff like that, and how this the fact you know if anything, um, uh, la, 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 they they've expanded out. They've become in a way they are, they haven't developed the factions, but they've become city states, towns, and stuff like that of maybe primes, and give it a night a feel a night aesthetic like medieval knights rather than you know blasters and. Future, like futuristic, take it back to fundamental mechanics, make them look simple but yet elegant as, as they, they develop through time. Give them these stunning suits of armor and you know, knight like appearances that we see in Prime, and I think that would be lovely. And generally, given it, you can see the blueprint of what would civilizations that will come in the future. And what would I also like to see? Um, what would be nice. If I had it my way, if it was with the big dicks of, of the Hasbro and the animators, is to see a the the, the fight like a beginning and an end of the thirteen, where you know the final conflict between Primus and um, Unicron eventually destroys this civilizations that exist on Pri you know Cybertron to only a few remaining to sort of see the early Quintesson invasion. That again would maybe discover, you know, there was a civil a robot a robotic, and that would again jump another civilization to create another civilization, and the timeline as we know it would expand out into the multi universe, um, and I think that would be a nice touch because we've never really seen the Quintessons explained, uh, sort of 
how they might, and they might be, you know, again, an, an, an early influence of Unicron that sent this thing near because to Primus because he's, you know, he's he's now completely damaged from the the final encounters and stuff, and he's lost Unicron, he's shut down, and he's to see the thirteen what who remains in hiding and how they would influence the Quint's sons even or the, the early robotic um you know military and production hardware that they would create that we know from the cartoons. And I think that would be a really, really good uh sort of historical context as well as, you know, biblical, if you will. You know, you have the thirteen, you know, the twelve disciples and how they portrayed each other in mid and all this behavioural terminology come about um and again we get to know we get to know these 13 we get to see them develop as individuals as we do as human beings um and change and and, and for it all to be cat you know a, a cataclysmic event happen to be wiped out an apocalypse to then start again the new regime as we know it now and the the matrix and also see the birth of the matrix where's the matrix come from um and what is the matrix about you know go into Primus's psyche go into unicron psyche um and yeah i think that would be a, a quite a lovely sort of thing to touch on within the transformers if we if we had the chance if i had the chance to be you know present of no you shall show this but um yeah early cyber early transform it and show them how they they manage this art of transformation um and very simplistic transformations very clunky but yeah effective shapes rather than you know detailed aerodynamic shapes but show that the development of that within the cities within the architecture make them part of cybertron and spires and stuff like that i think it'd be really really lovely to see this sort of personality churn come out um and again, with Unicron influencing them, there's lines of adventures and pace a lot. Um, I think that would be lovely, and I think that would benefit familiar people familiar to the mythos and familiar to the Transformers universe. They can go, ah, oh, yeah, you know, and it, it will cross a lot of continuities. Um, but no, I I I would like to to see that, and that toys would be amazing. You know, knights with maces and chains and supernatural powers and that would be really that would be something there so yeah that would be my pitch anyway if i had a chance um but i hope you've any questions if i've rambled a bit too much i don't mind me making this again because i do speak quite fast and quite confusing sometimes but thank you for watching i'm antonio's prime check out dan the hussy and rambling catastrophes uh videos they've got some really good ideas as well but i'm antonio's prime thank you for watching